हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम बैक टू द चैप्टर इंटेजर्स एंड इन लास्ट वीडियो ऑलरेडी वी हैव लर्न व्हाट आर इंटेजर्स एंड हाउ टू ऐड एंड सब्ट्रैक्ट इंटेजर्स ऑन नंबर लाइन बट इट इज नॉट पॉसिबल ऑलवेज टू टेक हेल्प ऑफ नंबर लाइन फॉर एडिशन एंड सब्ट्रैक्शन सो इन जनरल प्रोसेस हाउ वी हैव टू एड एंड सब्ट्रैक्ट लेट एस डिस्कस एंड वी नो दैट इंटेजर्स मे बी पॉजिटिव एंड मे बी नेगेटिव देर आर टू टाइप्स ऑफ integers and there is uh, one zero that is not negative not uh, positive so we are going to discuss about negative integers and positive integers when we are adding two positive integers two positive integers that means we are getting only a positive integer because positive integers are nothing but natural numbers here when we are adding 5 plus 2 or plus 3 or any as many positive integers we are adding we are getting one positive integer just like when we are adding natural numbers we are adding only we are getting only natural number 5 plus 2 7 plus 3 10 in this way so no need to be confused when we are adding two or more than two positive integers but when more than two negative integers we are going to add then what should be the sum negative integers negative integers then the sum should also be one negative integer how it is let us take one example negative 3 plus negative 4 that is equal to it should be we have to keep the same sign for the sum and we have to add the only numerical values of both the addends 3 plus 4 that is equal to 7 and let us discuss why it is negative 3 what do you mean by negative 3 negative 3 means 3 number of negatives and negative 4 means 4 number of negatives 4 unit negatives here 3 unit negatives now when we are finding their sum that means total how many negative units you are getting negative 3 and negative 4 that is equal to negative 7 i think all of you are clear about it so what we have learned when we are adding two positive integers we are getting one positive integer and when we are adding two negative integers also we are getting one negative integer but when we are adding one positive and another negative then what should be the sign and what should be the sum let us take one example 5 5 is one positive integer plus minus 6 this is negative integer now what should be the sum and what should be the sign of this sum here what is the absolute value in last video already i have explained you what is the absolute value once again i am explaining the absolute value means the only the numerical value here what is the numerical value 5 only the numerical value don't go to the sign here what is the numerical value 6 only ignore the sign so the numerical value of or the absolute value of 5 is 5 and the absolute value of negative 6 is 6 so what is the whose absolute value is more this absolute value is more because 6 is greater than 5 that means whose absolute value is more we have to keep the sign in the sum now next step how much it is greater how much this is greater than another one that means 6 is how much more than 5 or simply subtract 6 minus 5 what you are getting 1 that means negative 1 the sum is negative 1 another way i am explaining another way let us take 5 what do you mean by 5 positive 5 positive 5 means positive 5 units of positive positive 5 units what do you mean by negative 6 6 unit of negatives 6 unit of negatives and we know that one negative 
1 positive we can cancel or it becomes 0 negative 1 plus negative positive 1 negative 1 is 0 in this way all positives cancelled with 5 negatives what remain here negative 1 only one negative remain that is equal to negative 1 in simple way you have to keep in mind that whose units are more negatives are more that's why we are keeping the negative value and how much more that we have to find before learning subtraction we must have to know what is additive inverse of an integer additive inverse means nothing but its opposite sign if we are taking one positive integer let us take one positive integer positive a its additive inverse will be negative a only the sign you have to change with the same absolute value the number don't change the number only change the sign and always when you are adding a number with its additive inverse it must be zero let us take one example negative six its absolute value is six don't change the absolute value the additive inverse should be six and the sign will become positive so additive inverse means when you are moving how much distance from right here it is positive 2 that much distance you move to left or opposite side and what number you are getting that is its additive inverse and when you are adding these two numbers always you should get 0 now let's learn subtraction how to subtract let us take one example negative 5 minus 2 negative 5 minus 2 here subtraction means the operation subtraction in integer means addition of additive inverse addition of additive, additive inverse so what is the first number you must have to keep the same and the subtraction you need to convert it into addition and this number you have to the second addend you have to convert it into its additive inverse when it is positive that means it becomes negative here we have to the same thing the same statement we have to change into this statement and here this is the subtraction fact and here this is the addition fact and here already we have learned how to add and here negative 5 and negative 2 when both the sign are same we have to keep the same sign and we have to add the numerical values that is equal to negative 7 let us take another example here negative 7 minus negative 2 here minus 7 you keep the same here the subtraction you have to change into addition and the additive inverse of negative 2 it becomes here it is negative 2 becomes positive 2 now we are getting one addition fact and here we have to add how to add negative 7 and positive 2 whose absolute value is more negative and how much more 5 so negative 5 is the result let us take another example 10 minus negative 4 here this is the minus or subtraction and here this is the negative 4 so 10 you must have to keep the same and here the subtraction becomes addition here negative 4 becomes its additive inverse when this is the positive negative it becomes positive so here we are getting the addition fact and here 10 plus 4 that is equal to simply 14 in this way you can subtract the integers and when you are learning this integers you must have to practice and you take more examples and you practice it is simplest it is the simplest way to subtract and add thank you